These are my La Liga Game Week 26 predictions and tips. Let's dive straight in. Sports, betting tips, predictions. Subscribe now and get latest updates. First up, we've got Valladolid taking on Athletic Bilbao. And now Valladolid came up against Alche over the weekend. Yes, Alche at the bottom of the log absolutely dominated Valladolid in this game. Valladolid only had one shot on target the entire game to Alche's 24 shots and 10 shots on target. So Alche were really, really unlucky not to come away with more points in that game. Now Valladolid are currently sitting 14th and aren't in the best of forms with only one win from their last five. Now Athletic Bilbao are coming off a very, very, hard fought 1-0 loss to Barcelona where Barca just managed Barca seems to be doing this they just beat teams 1-0 they score the goal and then hold on to the league Barcelona dominated possession but arguably Atletic Bilbao were the better side they created more opportunities but for some reason teams just can't score against this Barcelona side now Atletic Bilbao are sitting ninth and they're winless in their last four so maybe not in the best of form neither of these teams in the best of form and it's an opportunity for both of them to grab three points here how I see this going I think it's going to be very low scoring very tight I'm going for a 1-0 Atletic Bilbao win but my betting tip is under two and a half goals Almeria taking on Cadiz. Now, Almeria are coming off a 2-1 loss to Sevilla, where they actually went up 1-0 in the second minute, and then Sevilla just managed to claw and fight their way back into the game in a game that Sevilla actually controlled and dominated most of the game. Now, Almeria are stuck in that 19th position, way down at the bottom of the log, with only one win and four losses in their last five games. Now, they're coming up against Cadiz, who are currently sitting 16th in the table, but are performing a lot better than what their position says. They've only lost one out of their last five they're coming off a 2-2 draw against Getafe in a game that they really should have won they gave Getafe two penalties and those are the two goals that Getafe scored so maybe their discipline letting them down a little bit there and they just need to tighten their nuts and bolts slightly and I do think they could potentially get over the line here against Almeria I do think it will be tough away from home which is why I'm going for a 1-1 draw and my betting tip is Cadiz to win or draw Ray Vecano taking on Girona. Now, Ray Vecano came up against Salta Vigo in what was looked to be a pretty even game, but then Salta Vigo went up two goals in two minutes after half time, and that was basically the game. They closed it out with a nice goal at the end of the game. But Ray Vecano sitting seventh, and they are winless in their last five. So, going through a little bit of a dip in form, I do think they played all right against uh, Salta Vigo, and maybe they felt a little bit hard done by, by that result. But they are coming up against Girona, who have been in decent form lately. Yes, they've lost two back to back now the most recent one being a 1-0 loss to Atletico Madrid but they did keep up with Atletico Madrid that game and only gave away a goal in the 91st minute when Morata scored the winner so Girona are no slouches themselves like I said they sit 12th in the table and I do think they're going to give Real Vallecano a run for their money away from home but Real Vallecano have been very very good at home this season so I do think Real Vallecano will just edge this I'm going for a 1-0 Real Vallecano win and my betting tip is Real Vallecano to win or draw Espanyol taking on Salta Vigo. Now, we just spoke about Salta Vigo's 3-0 win over Real Vallecano, where they were clinical. It was a very even game, but I, at the end of the day, if you take your opportunities, you're going to win more games than you lose. Now, Salta Vigo actually in very, very good form, unbeaten in their last four games, and coming up against Espanyol, who just had a very, very difficult game against Real Madrid, where they lost 3-1. As expected, Real Madrid dominated the game, and Espanyol weren't really in the game, even though they opened the scoring in the eighth minutes. Real Madrid controlled the majority of the game, and really, I didn't think Real Madrid not winning that game was a result that was possible. Espanyol currently sitting 15th and have back-to-back -back losses. So I do think Salta Vigo are the, the better team in form at the moment. They should be able to get over the line here. So I'm going for a 2-1 Salta Vigo win. And my betting tip is Salta Vigo to win or draw. Atletico Madrid taking on Valencia. Now, Atletico Madrid are in very, very good form at the moment. Probably one of the more formed teams in La Liga at the moment, probably bar Barcelona. They're on a seven-game unbeaten run. We spoke about their 1-0 win over Girona. And what was a tight game? Morata saving the day in the 91st minute. But this Atletico Madrid side is starting to find their form and they will have their eyes on the Champions League spots come the end of the season. And I do think they should be able to qualify for the Champions League. Now, Valencia are actually coming off a 1-0 win over Osasuna. In what was a very, very good performance by Valencia. Osasuna didn't get one shot on target. So Valencia, even though they're sitting in 17th, they're two wins from their last three games, maybe starting to find some form come the end of the season. And their defense is what really impressed me in that last game. A very well-controlled 1-0 win where they didn't give any opportunities away. And that's very, very impressive. So for me, even though... 
Valencia have shown this form, I do think Atletico Madrid at home is going to be a mountain too steep to climb for Valencia. So I'm going for a 2-0 Atletico Madrid win and my betting tip is Atletico Madrid to win. Real Betis taking on Mallorca. Now in La Liga, Real Betis have been in very, very good form. Five games unbeaten so far, but they did just come up against Manchester United in their Europa round of 16 clash in leg one and ended up losing that game 4-1. They do face Man United uh, on Thursday night, so I'm not sure what that result is, but I do expect Man United to move on to the next round. I, maybe Real Betis gets a result at home, maybe it's a draw. I do think Man United should either draw or win that game, but Real Betis after that game are coming off a 1-1 draw against Villarreal. Villarreal also a team that's looking pretty decent at the moment, and Real Betis are sitting fifth in the table at the moment, so they've got a lot to play for if they want to make it into the Champions League next year. Now they came up against Mallorca, who coming off a 1-1 draw against Real Sol Sociedad, they did well to hang on in that game after Real Sociedad scored a really, really early goal and then Mallorca getting the goal back, managing to hold that to a 1-1 draw. They currently sit 10th in the league. I do think they're slightly more dangerous than that, but they are winless in their last three and they only have one win from their last five. So maybe a team not in the best of form at the moment. For me, I think Real Betis get this done at home. They've been very, very good at home this season. So I'm going for a 2-0 Betis win and my betting tip is Betis to win. Real Sociedad taking on Alche. Now, immediately I'm thinking this could maybe be a little bit of a banana skin for this Real Sociedad side who aren't in the best of form lately. Yes, they're sitting in fourth, but they are winless in their last five in all competitions. We saw them go 2-0 down to Roma in uh, the Europa League. They're coming off a 1-1 draw against Mallorca. And Alche, on the other hand, somehow, some out of nowhere, have found some form in La Liga. They're coming off a 1-1 draw against Valladolid. They're unbeaten in their last two games they're off of the bottom still sitting last but they're finding some form and i do think this ultra side could be dangerous in this game we spoke about how they absolutely dominated Vauda lid in last week's fixture with 24 shots 10 on target yes they were at home and going away is going to be a whole complete different story but i just think ultra could potentially pull off an upset here against real sociedad a team who isn't isn't in great form been struggling for results up against ultra who shouldn't be winning this game at all but have somehow found some form and some chemistry in the changing room. Do I think Alche can win this away from home? Probably not, but maybe they can get a draw. So I'm going to predict a 1-1 draw and my betting tip is Alche at a handicap of plus one and a half. Osasuna versus Villarreal. Now Osasuna also one of those teams that started the season off pretty well and now have sort of dipped in form a little bit. Can't put uh, results together. Only winning one out of their last five fixtures. We spoke about their 1-0 loss against Valencia where to be honest they got outplayed. There wasn't much of a goal threat on the Osasuna side and they really just looked a little bit lackluster. Now Villarreal coming off a 1-1 draw against Real Betis. Huge result. They also played in the Europa Conference League in a game that they should have won. It ended 1-1 but I really do think Villarreal are the more form side at the moment they're currently sitting sixth and they'll have their eyes on the european spots whether that be europa or champions league i do think they have the capability to make it into the top four if they string some results together here but i just think Villarreal get this done osasuna didn't look great last week Villarreal look more attacking minded so i'm going for a 2-1 Villarreal win and my betting tip is Villarreal to win or draw Getafe versus Sevilla. Very, very interesting clash where Getafe is sitting 18th on the table in the relegation zone, but they've only lost one out of their last five games and maybe finding some form. Yes, in their previous 2-2 draw to Cadiz, Cadiz did just gift them two penalties on a plate and ask them to take it, which they did. They walked through the door and ended up getting the one point. Again, coming up against Sevilla, we speak about Sevilla every week, their ups and downs, how badly they started the season, but they seem to be finding some form. A 2-1 win over Almeria and a 2-0 win over Finobachi. They play the second leg tomorrow on Thursday and I do think Sevilla will potentially go through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. So maybe starting to turn their season around a little bit. Yes, they are sitting 13th in La Liga but that's only three points off of relegation. So it's very, very close at the bottom there. Sevilla do not want to slip at the end of the season and get relegated. For me, I think Sevilla are the better team and they get this done away from home. I'm going for a 1-0 Sevilla win but my betting tip is under two and a half goals. And then the big one, Barcelona taking on Real Madrid. Now, Barca and Real Madrid are going to be meet, meeting plenty in the next coming weeks. They met about two weeks ago in the semi-final of the Copa del Rey in the, uh, leg one, where Barcelona won that 1-0 away from home. Huge victory. They now play at Barcelona and then they play at Barcelona again in the second leg of the semi-final of the Copa del Rey. So a lot of football going on with these two clubs. We've spoken about Barcelona, how they got knocked out of the Europa League by Manchester United. They're coming 
coming off a good 1-0 win over Athletic Bilbao, but maybe struggling to find as many goals as they should. I think they finished uh, their last three games was a 1-0 score aggregate. So it's just not that great. We expect more goals from this Barcelona side. And coming up against Real Madrid, who have just put Liverpool away 5-2. They face Liverpool tonight uh, at the time of recording. And Real Madrid will not be impressed with themselves for losing to Barcelona at home. So this is a massive, massive game. It could honestly go any which direction. But for me, I'm going to stick on the fence and go for a 1-1 draw. But my betting tip is Barcelona to win or draw. Guys, and that wraps up today's video. If you haven't, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and leave your predictions down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.